Well, hello there, my little tattoo lovers and everybody else. Uh, it's time to talk about this AI, how to use it, what I've done to use it in correct way. So basically today we're going to talk about searching the design, what you like, how to create the design, where to create the design, uh, search for the mistakes inside the design, how to fix these mistakes, and uh, basically, again, a lot of monotone talking and just uh, trying to explain you how to do this all. So, let's go. Uh, the first thing, uh, what you need to do is uh, find the design. Basically, I am in the hotel now, so I'm gonna use this cupboard for showing the stuff. I decided to go with this project because uh, it's uh, very challenging, I would say, when, it, when you're looking at this. Uh, going uh, too much forward, I will say, I was a little bit disappointed because uh, it was not so challenging for me, but uh, everyone is different. So, this design, uh, when I seen this online, I made a post that I want to make this uh, test, like me versus AI. And uh, we just started from there. When you find something like this, and you really want to do this, you must start uh, investigating this project, because if it looks good from the first, it have a nice eye catcher, nice attention, everything is kind of understandable. But then when you start going deeper into this, you start to understand how much mistakes is there inside. AI is not perfect, so basically you must fix all the mistakes what AI have done. And as well, you need to be 100% confident or 80% confident in yourself that you can actually make the same, let's say, copy of this project. Of course, you can change something to make it in your style and whatever, but you really need to have uh, knowledge how to do this. So, first, uh, let's search for the mistakes in this AI project. Uh, I'm looking at the project, everything is fine. Uh, but then I start to analyze step by step uh, what I like, what I don't like. For example, the first, the main part, B. I like B, so I made it uh, with a green outline, let's say, what I like about it, what I don't need to change inside. But it looks good, but when you are looking a little bit more closer, uh, check out where is the red outline. The B tail, this uh, black stripe, is going into two different black stripes. This is uh, not going to work like this, so I fixed that on the skin already. I didn't fix it in the design because it was too simple. Next one. Yellows, yellow outlines, is the part where I was not really sure about. Should I change it or should I keep it? So the middle yellow outline part, I actually blurred it. Because uh, these uh, little white uh, hives, whatever outlines, they was taking too much attention away from the bee itself. Because we have only one eye catcher and this is the bee. The rest is just the background, that's it. So I blurred that. The bottom part and the upper part I actually kept almost in the same way how it was created by AI. And this is just my decision. Now the red outlines. Red outlines, I have changed everything completely. Because uh, it is deformed. You cannot really make the stencil out of it. It will be crooked. And if you are putting something already crooked, which looks like curved and tattooed on the skin, on one more curved skin, 
then you're gonna have complete disaster. So we need to change completely everything from these hives. And this is uh, how I done this. First, I need to find the hives. And uh, I just found this. It is a uh, childish uh, image or something like that, but uh, it's actually really good because I have all three shadows there of the curves of the hives and this is all I needed. So I took that as an example and created this out of that simple hives. So you always need to look what is better for you, how it is easier for you to make corrections of all the mistakes and just uh, enjoy the process. After I finished with the top part of the hives, I went on the bottom part, all the same, uh, basically fixing everything. When it was done, I started just to put design together more and more. Adding the B to understand that uh, all the shadows are correct before adding complete background. Uh, it's important for me, maybe for you it will be different. Uh, maybe you like it in a different way. It's really up to you, but we really need to find all these mistakes and fix them as well. Uh, here is the final result of the design that I've recreated. It took me about uh, six hours in searching correct hives, uh, remaking everything, fixing, finding. Uh, so it's kind of a long process. And if I would need to do it from the scratch, I would actually need much more less time. If I need to create something like this without using AI, whatever, it would take me like, I don't know, maybe one hour maximum to create, design something like that. But with AI, I spend time on finding mistakes, fixing mistakes, and then uh, thinking about it many, many, many times before I actually started doing it. Here is as well a few steps, uh, how you can see how this de design got changed. So basically from uh, start, then I cut out the B, then I cut out uh, background, then I added top hives, then bottom hives, blue ring, sharpening, and the final result basically. Uh, before we start uh, talking about actual tattooing, here is a quick time lapse of the design creating. So maybe for you it will be even more uh, better understandable how to make these steps by steps. Of course, you can just stop here and uh, make it in a slow motion, whatever. Uh, this is time lapse from Procreate, uh, the app I'm using for this. So yeah, enjoy. Uh, we'll just wait until it gets finished and we continue on the other things. So, we are ready with design, we are happy with it, we checked everything, everything is correct in our opinion, maybe we have some small mistakes, maybe not, it's not a problem. So, let's tattoo it. For this design, I took uh, three days and I actually took three different sessions. I will explain you why. Well, first of all, we have so much details. Here. It's crazy. And I really wanted to be sure that when I'm gonna finish this project, it will actually look in the way how I want it to look. So I started only with the B. The B itself took me like uh, nine hours. You can see it here. This is the session number one. 
uh, I made only the B without any backgrounds uh, with a reason because the guy who accepted this challenge with me will come after two months for the second appointment so basically I have a full skin regeneration before I continue the project and I can jump inside to the B again and add a little bit of uh, details again to the B, put the right contrasts at the same time when I'm doing the part of the background. So in this one, this is a uh, day number two session and you can already see the completely healed B with the fresh background but I was going back to the B to put all the correct uh, highlights, correct contrasts and fixing some small mistakes, adding a little bit more color to make it looking even more better. Because I want to put all possible details to the project what I can. And it's uh, quite important because I have a challenge, me versus AI, and I really want to win this shit, so that's why. Here, this is uh, session number three as well. It is two months later, two months after session number two. So again, it's fully healed and I'm just adding. So session number three is the final one. In the final session, I was adding everything how it needs to be. I was deciding how to finish the backgrounds. I decided to go with the smooth. So it's uh, looking more like a, I generated it. If I would do it uh, in my own way, I would maybe make some sharp edges or something like this. But we have a challenge, me versus AI. And I really want to have it uh, looking uh, pretty much similar. To the original so that's why and uh, basically yeah, here is the final result uh, it's up to you to decide who win me or AI uh, but like I told uh, you from the start I was expecting much more of a challenge than I actually had uh, a little bit disappointed not in the tattoo itself but in the challenge I really wanted to have a challenge to struggle you know but uh, didn't happen to me so maybe you're gonna find something else with extremely crazy contrast and color palette changes in the future and try to make it again but uh, we will see you know, this video is for you to understand how to work with that uh, now let's talk about other things uh, basically what AI can give to us, tattoo artists, at this point? If you go, for example, Google now and uh, search, for example, geisha face, like this, you cannot even imagine how much of these geisha faces are AI generated already. And this is actually crazy because 80% of this is AI generated already and this is in Google search only. So it doesn't matter which platform you are using for searching the images, you're gonna have a plenty of AI images already and it's getting better and better. There was an ambulance. So Geisha face. We're looking at this face and uh, but it is AI generated. And I personally would not even change nothing here. Maybe just uh, change the backgrounds so it actually fits the tattoo. Uh, maybe something like this on the leg or whatever. But this is honestly crazy. Uh, if you take, uh, let's say, five years back, it was really difficult to find something uh, what other people haven't done yet. Because everyone is using mostly the same platform, or it's a Google, or it's Pinterest, or whatever. It's uh, plus minus the same designs. We were just changing it in a contrast or a different compositions, but uh, it was almost the same designs. I mean, every image in Google 
if you take a wolf or something like this, it was done like a thousand times. But now, if you're gonna go and search for the wolf, and uh, actually press on the images which are generated with AI, there are thousands of different wolves, what we can choose from, and this is really good for us. But we need to search for the mistakes, which is a pain in the ass at this point. So I hope it will get better in the future, of course. So yeah, uh, for example, here, this is the Mid Journey program on the Discord, I guess. And it generates you four different images at the same time. You can choose all of them or one of them. But for example, this one, I would personally choose both uh, top two with a green tick because the lights are more correct there. The bottom two, I would not choose because it's the wrong lighting. And I don't really like it. So I chose number two, for example, here on this image. Looks nice. You will not find this in Google. It is generated only for you. It's all about how you are using these prompts uh, in this imagine whatever thing. You need to learn this. And yeah, this is how it's working. Uh, for example, you've done the project, well, you kind of like it. Uh, for example, here, on this one, uh, where I uh, marked with a green one, it actually means you will make it bigger. Only one image, you're gonna get it in a much more high resoluted image, whatever. With the blue one, it is, you want this image to be remade to four similar other images and it is unlimited you can play with this as much as you want until you're gonna actually find the correct one for you and when you found it just make a zoom just make a high resolution again and bam you have a perfect design maybe there are some small mistakes maybe there are no mistakes at all and this is crazy and uh, the red one what i marked it is actually to remake absolutely everything because you didn't like any of these four this is crazy this is really crazy and we are just in the beginning of this era i know only this program but a lot of followers of mine are telling me the different names of the programs i personally don't know i never tried it uh, i tried only this mid journey a few times that's it but uh, it is crazy it's up to you which program you're gonna use, but use it correctly and uh, please search for the mistakes. Uh, so I think uh, that's it for now. What, what I can tell you about this uh, AI stuff. To, yeah, I don't even know what to say you, to you right now because uh, we are only in the beginning of all these AI generating images and videos or whatever. So it is 2023 now. Uh, let's just see what will happen in the future. Uh, what I would really like from you, uh, can you please uh, write in comments which what other programs are they for AI generating images or videos or whatever? Uh, because I think it will be helpful for every one of us. Uh, so we have an option to choose from, you know. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Press like, whatever, or follow, subscribe, uh, it's up to you. But yeah, this is the video about AI in 2023. Uh, well, okay, bye, have a nice uh, day, evening, night, whatever, enjoy your time, and see you in the next video. Okay, ciao!